right. That was cool. We actually got to hear from uh, the guy who uh, came up with Traveler and gave us this uh, this cool hobby. Um, what was his name again? Uh, something Miller. Something. Oh, oh yeah. Mark. Mark. Mark Miller. That's Thank it. You. That's it. Yeah. Thank you, Mark. That was awesome. <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, last year when they did it, I gotta admit I was a little uh, starstruck. Um, I, you know, no. yeah, it's true. Is you know, I, I actually thought he was British all these years um, until uh, I talked to him, and then I found out he wasn't. Um, but uh, <clears throat> yeah, it turns out that there is a British <laughs> guy who has written the uh, the the current, you know, the mongoose edition. So there you go. Uh, Yes, we love our friends across the pond. Mr. Matthew. Yes, Matthew Springe. So, yeah, cool. Well, now we're going to move into the um, the uh, uh, May Day After Hours portion, and I'm going to try to bring in um, Ad Astra Games, Amber Zone, and Joshua Bell in, uh, in here. Uh, Joshua Bell is, the, uh, I think, the programmer of the Traveler map. And, um, yes, yes. Uh, he joined us, jo- joined, jo- joined us oh, last yes. year. Oh, yeah. We got to, uh, and then we're, we're going to, um, yeah, we're going to announce the prize winner here. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yes. Surprise Joshua. Yeah. Welcome back. <laughs> we're going to announce the, uh, the, the, uh, prize, uh, winner here in just a sec. So, um, it's not too late to get in on the drawing. Um, uh, uh Anybody from the crew remember how to enter the drawing? Enter the draw? How do you enter the drawing? The drawing. Well, I know at least a couple of ways. You go to the link that I just sent there, and you can download any of the free stuff on the right. That's one way. Oh, you were and listening. Then, uh, yeah, dude, listening. I did my research. Please. I'm the admiral. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you could get any, uh, download any title from the shop, downloading the free stuff on the sidebar uh, or on the blog, sign up for event notifications, uh, and also sign up for the newsletter uh, at the form, like everywhere. So awesome. uh, do do that quick if you haven't done it because because you're gonna win stuff that I can't win. So win it for me. Yes, uh, yes, he's okay. very humble as you can as you can tell. He's a humble, a humble, Dude, humble admiral. Princess. His no, nickname is <laughs> Admiral Princess. No, I'm down with Lord Digger. He 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 knows what's up. He also he also slagged off uh, Doctor Gomos. So I, you know I'm a big fan. <laughs> yeah, well, it's that. more. It's not so much Tinkerbell. Like you know when uh, they they all had their own staterooms on the ship, and then when they ha- added some extra crew, he was like, "Well, I'm not double bunking with anybody. They're just gonna have to like sleep in the cargo bay." That's it. That's mm-hmm. it. Yeah. I mean, you know, he's he's a dual pistol wheeling killer when it comes down to it. But mm-hmm. um, but but he he you likes his... nice enough to offer cats a floaty to so he could float in the fuel tanks. That's it. I mean, <laughs> what did. more could he want? <laughs> he's <laughs> that that was that was pretty classic. Yes. Yeah. Well, man, uh, apart from all his quirks, he can. Alrighty then, let's uh, let's see. Um, we're about to cut off the, uh, the 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 number of folks here. I'm gonna give a couple. I'm gonna give you just another couple of minutes. Let's. I'll, I'll do the drawing at 8:45, which is two minutes away. So folks got two minutes. In the meantime, um, I'm going uh, to uh, see if um, at Astra. Um, at Astra, can you say hello? I don't know if I have he's, the uh, publish. I don't he's know. He's muted, if... so probably no. Well, I know, but uh, <laughs> maybe not. Okay, just a sec. I'm going to add the. Uh... Let's see. I'm going to add the publishers in here.
I have to switch headsets. Uh -oh. so I'll be right back. Okay. It's it's been going for too long. <laughs> Okay. All right. Um, all right. Uh, can if you um, move out of the channel, the if the uh, publishers leave the voice channel, then come back in. You should be able to um, should be able to access with uh, push to talk. Soundcheck. Soundcheck. Can you hear me? Excellent. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. So, thank you. Good to be here. Uh, I'm Ken Burnside. I'm at Astra Games. I have uh, I first played Traveler back in 1987, uh, where we where I managed to name the party's uh, Beowulf class freighter Grendel's Lunch, uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, named it Grendel's Lunch. And our mission uh, was to uh, smuggle a the the daughter of the planetary noble off world to a place where a genetic disease could be uh, cured and bring her back. Uh, and this is one of the cases where we you know, had a kid in low birth and had to keep it very circumspect about what we were doing. <laughs> it, it was a fun little intrigue based game. That's funny. Uh, <laughs> and it seemed to really play into the title, to the naming, to naming the ship Grendel's lunch. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> uh, how about you, Amber Zoned? Or are you a uh, voice active in this channel? And I mean, I'm back, I think. I don't think they left and came back yet. Uh, because still do I have to move you myself? <laughs> uh, don't make me move you. Just pop out to the lounge and then and then come back in. Um, uh, Amber Zone and Josh Bell. Uh, and then you should be able to have uh, access uh, via push to chat. Oh, you might have to go set it up in your um, yeah, in your audio settings. That may be why your mic is shown with a cutoff. Oh, right. At Astra, well. good to good to good to have you. Oh, that's me. Mm -hmm. And now <laughs> I'm going to pop over to uh, roll twenty, <laughs> where I'm going to. Uh, I'm not going to win anything. I can't roll, win. roll a die. I hope my kids got in on this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Gomos is going to sue you. He already threatened. Yeah, I'm just kidding. I didn't tell him to. Okay. <laughs> Next year, they're their own people. And the winner of the grand prize is... User number 73. That is... I'm not very good at drum rolls, I have to admit. That is... Kevin S. Kevin S., if you are listening, I am going to send you a uh, contact email to your account at uh, live.com and uh, we will get you the, your beautiful wonderful prizes so congratulations Kevin S all right congrats Kevin yay Hello. happy yay. happy yay. traveler day it's yay. the culmination happy of the uh, I'm throwing confetti really and streamers hate you. not at all because we can't win yep <laughs> <laughs> let me just uh, write this guy's name down Number seventy-three. Oh, Thank youngling, you. youngling. I see, I'm seeing some great stuff in the the travel chat there. Everyone getting a drink. I gotta. I should probably post mine. Youngling, <laughs> the most misunderstood beer in 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 America, where they think it's foreign. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> All right then. Uh, now that we've uh, this guy knows what I'm talking about. now that we've uh, uh, chosen our uh, winner, let's uh, have a look at uh, at Astro Games. Uh, stream hop on into the stream there and he'll give us a little show of his um game which is, is part of the prize pack so uh take it away oh. ken uh, sorry ken kevin 
Quick. Well, Kenvin. <laughs> Ke Kenvin. 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 Yeah, that's what I meant to say. <laughs> All right. So what you're seeing here uh, is you are seeing the virtual map that we play Squadron Strike Traveler on. And this is, in fact, the final state of the teaching game that I was running at 1 p.m. yesterday. Uh, the quick start rules for Squadron Strike Traveler are, by the way, still on sale until uh, roughly midnight Pacific time on Wargame Vault. Just look for Squadron Strike Traveler Quick Start. It's also linked in on the May Day event page. So I'm going to whirl and twirl the map around here. It's a little bit slow, but you can see that we have ships up here in 3D space. Can everybody see this okay? Yeah, I mean, I've got to uh, probably expand my window a little bit. I can see it good. Oh, there we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. So this is a GNW light cruiser. Uh, it is pitched down at a 30 degree angle. You see these little tiles that I'm moving my mouse cursor over. That indicates that it's 10 altitude levels above the map. It happens to be this Gianetti light cruiser right here that I just moved my mouse cursor over. And the thing that sets Squadron Strike apart, aside from the fact that it's the GURPS of spaceships, is that it allows you to make any ship you want and fly it in full 3D. Uh, we have a Traveler product where we have basically implemented all the classic Traveler weapons from energy beams to Misan gun. You, you get to go and fly the ship with full vector movement and go, oh my gosh, I didn't realize it was that, I didn't realize I was going that fast. How long is it going to take me to get back into the fight? Which is the eternal cry of everybody who does vector movement games. Any questions? Well, I've, I've got one. It's like, this this is I, this is cool. Where have you been? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, so, I, so 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 in, in the spirit of kind of how we've been running everything tonight. So I remember, um, it's come up in the chat earlier. You've been around. Uh, I've seen you kind of lurking around the whole time here. Uh, um, your audio is cutting out a lot for me, so I can barely hear you. So be so speak slowly and be careful. Oh, and I'm going to turn off the stream so we get more. I'm going to turn off this stream so I have more bandwidth. Oh, the internet in the days of COVID. Um, All right. Let's see I'll if this works better for audio in a little bit. The stupid yeah. COVID. I'll, 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 I'll try talking slowly. So Use your robot voice. Oh, yes. Uh, if you're not seeing any uh, video things on Twitch, that's because we're all over at the Discord channel. Come join us over at Discord. Um, yeah, uh, we that was an impromptu presentation, so uh, it wasn't set up ahead of time to go out on Twitch. Sorry about that. Uh, please continue. So, so yeah, yeah. So, so Ken, um, I remember playing Star Frontiers when I was younger, and mm -hmm. really just loving um, the space battles, and 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 having the map and having everything out there. And with Traveler, which I love and adore, I didn't get that same experience when it came to the starship battles. No, and no, you didn't. So so this, for me, I'm seeing this and I'm thinking, okay, this is cool. This kind of is like, I can, I can visualize this. And, and so my question is, is like, is where did you come up with this and, and how did you come up with it and, and where did it start? So, long story made short, uh, for very narrow definitions of famous, I'm famous for making three-dimensional spaceship combat games. Uh, I published Attack Factor Tactical in 2004 after a four-year development period, and uh, Squadron Strike came out in its first edition in 2008 and its second edition in 2015. Um, and... I figured out a, a, a solution to one supposedly impossible physics problem for uh, for making gaming work, and then bumped in emulators for people with slow eyesight and bad reflexes. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like uh, me, I'm getting old. <laughs> so one of the things that we did back in 2015 is we ran a Kickstarter for making a smartphone app for Squadron Strike. And that smartphone app turned into this virtual map here. Uh, it's still the same code base, basically. Um, and what this allows us to do is have a shared map experience, a shared die roller. And there's even ways to share the ship sheets, uh, which I didn't show because I didn't know how much time I was going to have. Uh, but long story made short, I run a regular Traveler game, uh, Traveler, a Squadron Strike Traveler playtest, at 1 p.m. Eastern time on Thursdays. 
because that happens to be 6 p.m. Uh, in the UK, and that's where the bulk of my players currently are for the playtesting. And next Thursday, I've got a playtesting game, and I can handle about four students at a time at once. Hmm, that sounds really cool. You know what it just kind of made me think of is if the how cool would it be to somebody should do should take this and here's a free <laughs> here's a free idea for somebody who wants to do it. Um, Ace of Aces, but with uh, traveler ships. Uh, that is something that was done actually, not oh, for really? traveler ships, but uh, yeah, there was a Star Wars Ace of Aces that is a very rare collector's item. Oh wow. If uh, if um, you're not familiar with Ace of Aces, it's a uh, those of you out there, it's a really cool uh, thing that uh, spawned a, uh, like a, a line of um, other similar types of games like Lost Worlds and stuff. But what it is is you uh, have a book. It's basically um, biplane dogfights, and um, you uh, you have a booklet and you trade it with the other player. So, like, if you're the Red Baron and, and the other guy's, like, an American or whatever, right? And so you flip each other's, you pay, take the other person's book, and you start out, like, flying, facing each other. So when you turn to a certain page, you see the view from your plane. And so you see the other guy's plane off in the distance. And then if he decides to bank left or right, and then you decide to go up or down, there's a, there's a uh, like page index that you give to the other person. Mm -hmm. Then they flip to there and now they see the new view. Now they're up and turn and the other guys turned and now they can see the new perspective. Mm -hmm. And when they get into range, it automatically shoots and stuff. It's very, very cool. Um, and uh, they also made like a D and D version where you could be like a, a skeleton or a, a paladin or a, wizard or whatever and then similarly you swapped books and then you you did melee fights against other you know an, another wizard or monster or whatever the other guy was um it's pretty cool yeah uh, a friend of mine uh callie lacefield uh was the model for uh the viking warrior woman uh fighting uh, finding fantasy book oh cool yeah, yeah. um who just posted that i have a window over there uh yeah J yeah josh thanks uh, yeah, there's the Ace of Aces, and they had a bunch of different um, uh, expansion books. It's a pretty cool yeah, idea. Yeah, there's the Dragon Riders of Pern one. Yeah, there's the Dragon Riders of Pern one. They don't actually have the uh, oh, Dragon the, the Riders Nine of Pern. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow, I never yeah. did know they did that. So, so mm -hmm. Ken, Ken, at the very start, you kind of you kind of came in saying that you had a special going on till midnight. Yeah. Uh, Repeat that, please, because I'm you know so, I didn't get get enough uh, time to write it down. <laughs> all right. Not a problem. It and is... maybe for everyone else too, but you know, I'm being guilty. I'm being like, you know, super selfish. So, uh, That's so unlike you. For... <laughs> hey, I am the admiral. I am the admiral here. Uh, <laughs> all right. So on War Game Vault and uh, Drive Through RPG, you can search for the Squadron Strike Traveler Quick Start Rules. Uh, there's also a link to it in the promenade uh, text chat area on uh, the Traveler RPG headquarters on, Discus on uh, Discord. Cool. Excellent. And it is still 30% off for, for May Day up until you know, for another couple of hours. Awesome. Thank you for that. Um, and uh, yeah, d uh, if, uh, don't forget to get in on those uh, on the lessons if you're interested. Uh, I saw people, uh, he, was in, he was announcing it on another channel. And uh, people were like signing up on the spot. I don't know if you have a waiting list, but uh, yeah, it looks uh, seem pretty popular. Um, okay, so you, you, go you on. can also find my products at adastragames.com. All and right. I currently have a retail, and I currently have a retailer support program, where if you name your favorite game store and give their email address, I will give twenty five percent of the MSRP of whatever you bought to that game store, and that's for digital products as well as physical ones. Because with COVID nineteen, the only way we the only way we have a game industry is if we all support each other. Hey, that's a great idea, and that's like a cool way of uh, networking. Very cool. Uh, so I'd like to get uh, Joshua Bell and Amber zoned in here, but rather than make you guys go set up your mics for push to talk, um, I am going to instead uh, just make it so that you guys can talk in here normally with a regular mic. So. Give me a sec to uh, do that. Here's the secret. I'm not a push to, I'm not a push to talk. Shh. You're special. With 
finger quotes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel the love. That's amazing. Oh, Junior wanted to be on TV. All right, there we go. All right, now, uh, okay, so, um, so now we should be able to uh, uh, Amber Zoned and Joshua Bell. If you leave the chat room and then come back in, you should be you should reset your permissions, and we should be able to hear from you. And um, and add Astra to your new your new permissions, so you don't have to use push to talk. It should trigger as well. We'll see what happens. Hearing bloop bloops. Bloopity bloops. I have the bloop bloops turned off. So, all right. Hello, Amberzone. Hey. Amberzone. Hey, Amberzone. Hey, hey, Jeff. Hey. Thank you. Welcome back. Good to see you again. Yeah, good to be here. My uh, my daughter Sophia is with us. My my uh, second in command on the good ship. Awesome. Nice. Hey. Welcome. <laughs> She's been listening in. She listened in to um, Mark's interview. Very cool, cool, cool. So, uh, um, Amberzone, tell us a little bit. Oh, and hello. Oh, I, Hi, I Joshua. think I heard Joshua. Yes. Yeah, I finally found the unmute button. Woohoo! So, <laughs> okay. Uh, technology right, is welcome. difficult. How have we lived through so many traveler adventures? That's what I'd like to know. I know, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> so uh, let's go around the circle and we'll just uh, talk about uh, who we are and uh, what, uh, what our. Or, or what our uh, content is that we create for uh, Traveler stuff. So let's start with um, Amber Zone, since you got your mic un unmuted first. <laughs> tell us, uh, get, tell us uh, your name and uh, what is Amber Zone, and uh, yeah, what, what's what's up. Well, uh, my name is Jeff Jeff Kesmers. Um, I'm the creator of of um, what began as a series of one panel web comic grown. Uh, full-length storytelling. Um, I've had a finished a series of, of um, graphic novels last year that I'm pretty proud of, and I made available on my Patreon. Yes, for download for for patrons. Um, I'm also producing um, characters and deck plans for uh, anyone who's interested at the moment I'll, I'll be producing collect collected works cool. uh, uh, how do people find Sophia your patreon page? Team, uh, Sophia joined the team last year and, and um, put up her own collection of of um, stories and characters and I, I did notice somebody with your same last name uh, same last name putting out some art. I was wondering if that was your wife or your daughter or how that person was yes. related. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that's my second born. Oh, cool. And uh, so where can people find uh, Amber Zoned Comics uh, and how do they get to your Patreon page? It is... Um www.patreon.com slash I think it's Amber Zoned. I've got a friend, a, I've got a fellow artist friend who's got a really uh, his his Patreon game is really on, on point and I'm trying to learn from him. I consider him a friend and mentor. Um, Fred Gorham from who runs a Steel Angel Studios. That's all that. He does a lot of fantasy, and science fiction type art. Um, good friend. So I'm, so. But um, yep. Patreon.com slash Amberzone Comics. All right, cool. Well, uh, welcome back, and uh, thanks. Um... Uh, Jeff was here uh, last year, and you're here for the uh, after show again today. Uh, so thanks for uh, your, your support. It. Thanks a lot, man. And thanks for being uh, less less pressure this time around, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little less. <laughs> and Jeff, uh, Jeff, it's good to hear from you. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, thanks, guys, for being uh, uh, active co uh, community members in the Traveler RPG headquarters over on Facebook. Um, it's a little a group that I started after. Uh, <laughs> after I uh, got kicked out of the major traveler groups. 
Yeah, it's a long story, but uh, anyway, I was like, fine. Jerk. I'll have my own <laughs> traveler group with hookers and blackjack. And so here we are. Uh, That's why yep. I'm here. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> so here we are at uh, almost 1,400 members, and I consider it to be a success. So thanks, everybody who's pitched in on that. Um <laughs> Yeah, so uh, that's another uh, something like story for another time. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, cool. And uh, so let's uh, let's get Joshua in here. Uh, Joshua is uh, the creator of uh, um, Traveler Map, which is this awesome uh, tool. I'll let him explain it. Uh, uh, Joshua, tell us a little bit about yourself and your project, and how we can find it and use it. Sure. Um, it's weird to think of myself as a publisher. Uh, it was mostly just the website. So I think you sold it. It's travelermap.com. Um, it's a free tool. Um, hopefully most of the people here are already familiar with it, but if not, it's like Google Maps, but for the Traveler universe. Um, pull it up, should work on any desktop browser um, or any mobile browser. So if you've got iPhone or Android device, you can use Safari or um, Chrome and pull it up and explore the universe uh zoom starts off showing you charted space you can zoom all the way out to see the whole galaxy or zoom all the way in to inspect planets um, if you tap on a sector or a planet it gives you more information about it um, the uwp and you can expand that for more information um, and lots of options and stuff to discover like generating posters and maps um, that you can print out and booklets and things like that. I, I really like the uh, the different viewing modes. Like there's a um, like a kind of a 3D like mode, uh, kind of like perspective mode. It's uh, got some really cool stuff. And then uh, now, so is there like everything from like the Traveler Canon in there, plus things that people have added, or how how is it? How did you fill it up with stuff? Yeah. So. So when I started with it, there was not much of a canon. There was, you know, a few sectors that had been published back in the day. And I honestly went around and found lots of different sectors that people had built on the internet. I got a little more rigorous after that. Um, and eventually Mark and uh, his inner circle of folks working on Traveler reached out and we started um, having the, the official canonical sectors, like as published in the Atlas of the Imperium um, and some of the other supplements up on there with the data cleaned up. Um, and so it's a mix of, as you said, it's both the, the Traveler canon as well as uh, fan submissions. Um, hopefully as you explore, you click on a sector and it'll tell you which is which. Um, some people are like, why I, I'm confused. I don't know what's official or not. And why is there unofficial stuff? Because it's fun. Um, Mark is a fan of, of uh, stuff that's, you know, a little bit wacky. Um, and uh, so he likes some of the old supplements by some of the um, other publishers like um, Group One um, and um, uh, Paranoia Press that had a very different spin on the Traveler universe, but he likes to embrace it and see what those stories uh, inspire for players and refs. That's cool. Um, so like, uh, can people, do you have to have an account or something? How, do, how like, let's say I want to map my traveler universe into this thing. Uh, is there a way that I can do that or? So sadly it's, it's, uh, uh, I have to play the role of benevolent dictator for the site. Um, it would have been great if I built it like a wiki and anybody could add stuff. Um, but basically if you want to have your own stuff, you've got two routes. Uh, if you just want to create your own sector and then use the tools to, you know, you punch in the data and it spits out maps and booklets and things like that, the site has tools for that. Um, <laughs> if you're interested in having your stuff hosted, um, email me. Um, you can traveler.com slash doc slash submit. And basically you can say, hey, I built a sector. Can you put this up for my, my, um, uh, my role-playing group to use? Um, might take me a while and I might not update it that frequently, but I can just shove it somewhere else in the galaxy and say, here are the coordinates. Have fun. That's, that's uh, super awesome. <laughs> Actually. Uh, yeah. It would be cool as a, a wiki, but you know, that might be like you say, uh, um, well, I would definitely think that could get out of control and crazy and you'd have 
planets named Poopy and you know stuff like that. So it's better uh, if you uh, if you are a gatekeeper <laughs> to some extent. You know, I, I'm totally fine with that, and I, that's awesome that you're willing to uh, expand it and give people some their little spot. Um, yeah. Uh, tell us that address them, again. Is it, it's Traveler Map. I want to put a link to it in the. Yep. Yep. Just travelermap.com. Traveler with two L's. One of the things that came up with the Traveler Map discussion here is it came back to something that I thought about when I was hearing the interview with Mark. Mark claims he had no marketing plan when he when he wrote Traveler, and he's right. He didn't have a marketing plan. But Mark is a marketing genius. Uh, he was one of the very first people who took the things that were happening with Ardwin Grimoire and uh, D and D and said, "Okay, rather than do what TSR did with uh, Ardwin uh, Grimoire, I want to embrace all the people who want to go and play in the Traveler universe." And that's why the Third Imperium started out with over eleven thousand worlds, uh, most of which were ready for players to go and make their own, and it made it really easy for him to go and say, okay, yes, you can make Traveler content. This is where FASA came from. The adventure the Battletech started out as a Traveler subsector, um, which is the reason why all the Battletech mech combat looks so similar to Traveler skill checks. Yeah, I had no idea. I've learned something tonight. <laughs> yeah, and FASA's stuff is, um, obviously the, the creators, the, the Keith brothers were brilliant. Um, I really love the Far Frontier sector. Um, it's one of my favorites. Uh, there were hints of it uh, dripped about in various uh, FASA um, adventures, such as the Far, uh, sorry, the Star Raiders trilogy. But um, there was also some unpu initially unpublished things. Uh, they were planning to do a supplement on it that ended up getting reprinted in, of all places, Dragon Magazine or Ares, Mag Ares Magazine, sorry, Ares Magazine, which merged with Dragon and the Traveler Chronicle. And there's just it's it's a wonderful place if you're th looking for a setting that's like um we'll say that the firefly where there's just a mix of giant huge worlds and then a sector away um all farmland and small but not imperium size small and not imperium sized forces uh fighting against each other it's all there in the far frontier sector so hopefully someday it'll get revisited mm -hmm. and wow, for the that's... people and for the people who are going, wait, where did Battletech Traveler? The Broadsword Mercenary Cruiser and the Overlord Dropship are pretty much the same design. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, but I, I, I just had no idea that uh, that that kind of sector thing was doing. So thanks, thanks yeah, it, for sharing it, that. It, it's, that's, it's really, uh, that's cool. It's cool to learn something on Mayday. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's pretty much it, what became Battletech was originally written up as a traveler subsector, and then they looked at it and said, huh, hey, so let's go something. do our own thing. <laughs> yeah, wild, wild. I had no idea. That's so cool. Hey, hey, Fraz. Or Cyborg Prime, I should call Yes. Him. Fraz is what we call him in our weekly game. Um Amongst, uh, amongst <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, speaking of BattleTech, that's my uh, yeah. that's my character name from. Uh, uh, that's how I met this crew of crazy shenanigans guys. Reprobates. So yeah. Yeah, is uh, MechWarrior Online. Online. We used to. I have a unit. Uh, um, Cat, uh, Admiral Fancy Pants. He's the leader of the other of another unit, and uh, we used to hang out in adjacent channels on um, uh, on Teamspeak on the on the server. And uh, and play with each other uh, on Mech Warrior, and uh, so then we were like, "Hey, you like gaming? I like gaming." And then uh, we eventually yeah, we made our. Uh, uh, I like drinking. You like drinking. This hey, is like this a, is so uh, weird. Yeah, and so these are like some of the I next. I like conquering small European countries, and you like conquering small <laughs> yeah, European exactly. countries. Exactly. And so you know, this is these are the Heavily. nicest group of guys that have never met. <laughs> <laughs> well, some of us have met. I've, I've probably met the most of our group. Um, <laughs> but uh, so, so yeah. So that's why I call him Fraz. But uh, I just wanted to, before we get too late, as we continue, just wanted to do that toast that we were talking about earlier. To oh uh, yes, I was going to sign off with that. But if uh, but if you like, I was going to sign off with that. But if you'd like to get that out of the way now. Um, yeah, we can certainly I do think, that. I think. Well, we we can we can get out of the way now. Everyone can can fill their charger and.
get themselves a drink. And yes. uh, Kevin, you know, Kevin, I hope you're listening because this was uh, your idea. So um, there we go. All right. Yeah. So, uh, so uh, somebody su- everyone, uh, like three, two, one. No, I'm- <laughs> <laughs> somebody suggested earlier we uh, drink a toast on Traveler Day to those, or raise a raise a toast to those who have gone before us in the great unknown. And uh, so let's have a moment of silence and uh, uh, and and we'll remember uh, our our friends who have gone before us. So cheers. <laughs> To fallen gaming comrades and others we've loved. To those who have taken the longest jump. That's it. Here, I'm going to make a ice sound here. Okay. And now a moment of silence. Folks, there are good ships and there are wood ships, the ships that sail the sea. But the best ships are friendships, and may they always be. Oh, I like that. Yeah. God damn those Navy guys. <laughs> oh, one of the things I forgot to mention, um, I, sell pewter tra- I sell pewter traveler spaceships. What? I have the molds and make the uh, castings of the Beowulf Free Trader, of the uh, Suleiman Type S Escort, uh, you know, Type S Scout Courier, the Pinnace, and uh, with, as part of the Squadron Strike Traveler Kickstarter, I have the Gazelle Escort and its launch. In addition yeah. to this, I have a bunch of one seven thousand scale uh, fleet scale ships, going from the Plankwell Battleship all the way down to the Fertilance and the Chrysanthemum, plus some Aslan and some Jordani ships. Wow, that's awesome! How cool. can we get those? Uh, www.adastragames.com Nice. I need a uh, I need a scout ship and a and a free <laughs> trader. <laughs> oh no! Hey, I, I need a free trader all. because our scout ship's just getting a little too crowded. All that illegal booze we're making. Yeah, um, <laughs> and some people would share their room, so what? You might need Why a bigger ship. <laughs> uh, I mean. I mean, uh, let's face it. Storing you know, of booze and most of the crew doesn't have ownership in the, in the ship of any degree, so they 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 deserve to bunk together. That's true. They can sleep <laughs> on the air mattress. <laughs> I'm not being shoved in the cargo bay again. Forget it. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, All right. So, um, anybody else out there got any questions for our publishers or our crew or have any? Questions or comments or suggestions for next year's uh, um, event? We got uh, we still got ten minutes to kill here, folks. I wanted to mention uh, on on Joe the Red. <laughs> the finish uh, line is within reach. Yeah, uh, on Joe the Red piped up earlier with the uh, he's got the he's got the world generating website there. Oh. Um, and he's an Aussie too, I think, based on where it's based. Go. <laughs> Uh, I didn't We're being see overrun by. <laughs> repost it. Repost it. You get you. I think you may have a. An, I think you may have an Aussie, a fellow Aussie here. Oh my God! A These guys. Seas. They. <laughs> oh, he's in Melbourne. Oh well, don't hold it against him, cats. Uh. <laughs> I'm in Melbourne. <laughs> well, that's what I meant. <laughs> Wait a minute. Maybe they're from the evil universe. It's evil cat. It's reverse cats. <laughs> It's your first cats. There's two, two, two Aussies from Melbourne here tonight. This is a, getting a little scary. <laughs> That's funny. Melbourne, so, four seasons in a day. That's what we say in New Mexico. Don't like the weather? Wait ten minutes. There you go. I just mm-hmm. I I posted it. Uh, so which one of you cats has the goatee? That was Nebraska. Uh, uh, Ajno, <laughs> let, let me let me know. Um, was that the right link there? Yeah, Ajno. they're they're real cool cats. They snap instead of uh, applauding, <laughs> and have goatees and berets. <laughs> so there we go. That that that's the link. Ajno's link there for the world builder. All right, cool. We should He's check working that out. on an upgrade. I understand. Very nice.
Yeah, Jonathan, who works on the that world builder, he's a a student, so he's very busy. <laughs> Unlike the rest of us who don't have an excuse for being very busy. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. Oh, cool. Oh, nice, 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 Ajno. Very cool, very cool. Hey, so we uh, one cool thing that's kind of spread it out of this. Uh... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, secondary school teacher. Oh, yeah. That's 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 the big complaint. I, I Not a like, student, I, actually a teacher. <laughs> um, you know, in the conversation earlier when we were talking with, um, we were talking. Well, sorry, when when Matthew was talking about uh, his stuff with with mongoose, um, you know. And he was talking about lazy, you know, he he wants to make it for lazy people, you know. My, my my comment was that, you know, I don't think it's for lazy people when you get to a certain age. It's about the fact that, you know, what you used to be able to do when you were a teenager running games and having a good time gets really complicated when you have a family and children and a full-time job. So for me, anything that makes it easier to do these things with my friends and family without having to spend the time that I used to spend, which I still love, um, it's just great. It just makes it, makes it facilitates the things you used to be able to do when you had more time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Uh, well, I was going to say one of the cool thing that's, uh, sprung out of this project is, um, just the, like, uh, awesome traveler camaraderie. Um, I think, uh, you know, I'm crossing the threshold into like 1400 uh, members on the Facebook group and, uh, we're, we'll be three years old. Um, I think, uh, next like March or something. And anyway, in that three years, I haven't, I think I've only had to kick out one person and I didn't block them or anything. I just, you know, told them why they broke the rules and they could come back later. But, uh, yeah, it's been a great, uh, community anyway. And, um, uh, the people there have been really creative and supportive and friendly and, um, smart about traveler and traveler type games. And, um, you know, people over there have like crazy encyclopedic knowledge and also funny, like, uh, sense of humor. And, uh, yeah, I just want to express my appreciation for the uh, community that has built itself up over there. And, uh, I was happy to give it a little space to grow in and uh, see that what it uh, has grown into, and I'm pretty happy and proud about it. So uh, thank you guys for making that happen. And um, what else? Uh, uh, what, is the name, what is the name of your Facebook group so I can join it's a, it's a Traveler RPG Headquarters. Traveler RPG Headquarters. Okay. Just like the Discord Just like the Discord Yeah, this, yeah. Uh, this and, and Discord... Go on. No, you first. Okay, I was gonna say that the this di the Discord server is a is a support site, a support server for the tr for the Facebook group, but it's also tied into uh, my Patreon uh, thing. Uh, so if you if uh, folks wanna um, help support the crazy weird stuff I do, go check out my Patreon. You can uh, buy noble titles on this Discord server, and it'll be listed in the side. Uh, as a uh, as a citizen or a baron or whatever uh, Patreon level you're out, and uh, uh, send out crazy weird stuff and um, and uh, yeah. Anyway, check it out. Uh, if you just want to be a supporter for a month, or if you just want to come and hang out and make comments on the public stuff, that's cool too. Um, uh, you know, I just uh, I make this stuff and I put it out there, and uh, you're free to enjoy it for free. Or if you want to uh, help sponsor it, uh, that is also appreciated. So uh, check that out. And uh, also, there's you know, um, I, I believe I'm now as soon as you approve me, I believe I'm now member four. Oh, he's gonna deny you, man. I'd ask for, he's he's terrible. Trust me, God, <laughs> I, I game with him every week. Yeah, I get around to things when I want to. Things he does. But uh, <laughs> the emotions they run high. <laughs> I try to. I try to. Was, oh, oh, that's what we're, you know. Is Gomos here? No, man. Oh, he, you know somebody. Somebody I think, suggested. I think he probably died of the COVID. Somebody um, suggested that we should uh, have a couple of uh, uh, ships' logs read back from this. Oh, oh yes. Yeah, those are good. Those yeah. are good. 
We'll save that for another time. Is he around? Time. I don't know. I don't know. Give, give him a we poke. Can see if we, we, we can see if we can see if he's around. I, I can't uh, get the I can't get Steam working without uh, screwing. I don't worry. I, I got covered. He's playing. I got uh, Oh, hey, with too. three Aussies. Oh Christ! What the hell's going on with the world? Hyphen. Hey, we definitely another Aussie, even though he's in Brisbane. Brisbane is in Australia. Brisbane's in Australia. Yeah. I know three of them. Come. They're all in the same place. Is there they only one run. city in Australia? No. That hosts two gamers? of them are two of them are in one, and Brisbane's in another. Oh, okay. Two of them are in Melbourne. One's in Brisbane. Oh, this okay. Is out of control. I gotta get and my have, Canadian peeps back in here. And, uh, and, and I have customers in Perth and uh, customers in Tasmania, uh, in, in Hobart, Tasmania, and I've got another customer. Those in devils. Canberra. Sorry. Well, they appreciate the 3D uh, space combat because there goes Gomos is Gomos is back. Gomos yeah, is back. They, Hello, so they Gomos. Appreciate 3D space combat because so, this way they can rise from they can come up from below. There we go. <laughs> That's funny. So before we get Gomez to to uh, to do what we we're expecting him to do, which he doesn't have any idea, I don't think, unless you told him before. No, no, um, the comment I wanted to say was that it's been really great just seeing uh, some of the conversations and the the connections made, and actually some of the reconnections made from what I'm seeing here. It's like, well, hey, it's you. <laughs> yeah. Like, hey, so uh, Big Planet Jack Fan. Bought it like an hour ago. We'll be here as soon as Amazon. Can. I, I don't one? even remember who suggested that to me. Big Planet by Jack Fan. Oh, Never Jack heard of him. Yeah, that was earlier. Uh, yeah, uh, you know, I've, I've, I've not to toot my horn, not to toot my horn, but I've been around the block in uh, sci-fi book world. Never heard of it before. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you for that. Hmm, cool. Yeah, yeah, Jack Fan. Hey, so, I'm so happy. Almost the reason we brought you back in. Was, uh, oh yeah, hold on a second. Was, a... Yeah, there's there's somebody suggested something. Oh, okay, so we, I was boasting about my crew and how awesome you guys are, and this one guy yes, who's you're right, who's really awesome because he keeps a journal, and uh, we always try <laughs> no, to leave. Not a very good one at times. We try to but leave. Better. We try to leave everything. You don't know how to read. <laughs> we try to leave everything on a cliffhanger. Uh, and do things episodically, kind of like uh, Star Trek or you know uh, Stargate episodes or whatever in our game. And so uh, Dr. Gomos uh, is like the chronicler of the group, and he actually keeps a, a little um, uh, a journal. And so uh, somebody earlier suggested that uh, you go back a couple of entries in your journal and read read forward and do a couple of entries of last time on this. On this. Yeah, yeah. Would oh you wow! Be really? Like me? yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you? Game? Yeah, yeah. Would you yeah. like to? Could That's you do that? Like go back, go back like two or three oh, episodes or something, and man, yeah. I mean, no pressure. No, yeah, pressure. no pressure. But like on the spot, okay. totally. All right. Well, I mean, you've gotten so me. much better. In the world, it doesn't make us look like complete incompetences, please. Mm. In the world, oh yeah, that might be hard. There is another world. Hi highlight Katz's incompetence as much as you can in those recaps. <laughs> yeah, Katz is the one who's incompetent, stands out, Princess. Absolutely, Katz is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go back and read some of the uh, last time. And don't forget this. to say, last time on this between the uh, journal, like the the journal session. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Silence, everyone. <laughs> Silence, take your places. <laughs> Lights. Silence. Me, 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 me. me, me. <laughs> <clears throat> and action. Hold on. I'm firing up a uh, roll 20. This is going to be wow. no pressure. <laughs> I, I, I love that it's Oh, people probably aren't interested in our in our ship's logs. Probably not. What do you think? I don't know. I think it would be pretty funny, some of them. Does anybody else uh, have a chronicler or a ship's log person or keep that kind of stuff? Um, be interested. Well, in not mine, that. but I wanted to hype. Uh, there's a, a serialized traveler adventure called Log of the Gray Swander. I'll drop the link in the chat. Um, the author of, the, of that has been working on it for a few years. So obviously, nice go to the earliest entry. Yeah, nice Selazny reference.
All right, where to jump in on this? Go back at least to just so they can have a kind of a running story of what uh, kind of stuff uh, goes on in our game. Everybody plays differently. Some some speculate on treasure or you know trade or whatever. Some discover new worlds. Might okay. Be interesting to get a window. Right. Okay, ready? All right, places, everyone, places. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Um, do you want me to give a broader context or just jump right in? Uh, you can you can give a broader context, I suppose. It's okay, up to you. So, it's, your, um, it's your story. Uh, to keep a to keep a long story short, we have just been trying to try hunt to limit down spoilers. That's all. Yes, of course, we have been trying to hunt down this impossibly powerful menace. Is a threat to the subsector, if not the galaxy, et cetera, et cetera. And um, uh, we've been on this hunt for like in the real world almost two years, two years plus by this point. Uh, but the... uh, in the game, it's been, I know, it's been a long time, eh? Uh, but, uh, anyways, we're, we, we're actually like coming to a point in our investigation just as this journal picks up. <clears throat> so. Last time on this. Uh, as the gang pulls into Cassandrix, they take a look around and sidle up to the system station with an Ida shop. As they pull in, they see a big, fancy new ship in dry dock. Briscoe does some research and figures out that Lyceum is hunting for a specific skill set in employees across the sector ag aggressively. It also seems like they have a whole bunch of shell companies set up that are doing the same kind of thing, all working towards finding crew and staff for this new fancy ship. He also manages to figure out that all of this info started showing up on the system about a month after Mox woke up. Briscoe continues by checking up on the gang's public records, which at this point look clean aside from the uh, outstanding gang bounty put on their head. Um, uh, the crew runs the simulation to see if this new ship, the Goulier 8, could fit through the wormhole, and it seems like it just might could, their calculations tell them it could also make it to the mouth of the wormhole in one jump. But Princess tries to hunt down some stock to make alcohol from while this is going on, and manages to track down four tons of merit bear. Cats gets word on the streets that the Goulier Anar is about ready to launch, maybe three days away. Briscoe and Ice figure out that there's also a Lyceum far trader scheduled to leave port in six days. Princess gets a notification that the transmission received after their first jump through the wormhole that came from the future finally got decoded. It's a cryptic mayday from none other than the Goulier Anar, but from two weeks and three days in the future. Now we're on to another game session. The gang hatches a plan to create a false work order, allowing a quote-unquote crew of people to access the Goulier Anar. Katz tries to get a leg up through the unions, but even with a big bribe, can't pull through. Princess steps in and manages to pick up the ball that Katz dropped and gets access codes as well as opening a door to future alcohol sales. Gomos verifies the access code is legit, and uses it to create a false work order so that two people can gain access to the ship. Princess, once the code has been confirmed, heads back to the pool hall to pay up in full. Cats and Ice have a work order created for them as subcontractors so they can inspect the systems, uh, the ship's energy storage systems. They put together a plot to have Cats sabotage their M drive while Ice plants bugs and surveillance around the ship. The doctor starts whipping up a program that can be snuck into the GA systems to mess with them, but uh, has a bit of trouble getting it together. After taking a day to cool off and a small montage, Gomos manages to create a program to take over the networks of the Goulier Anar. Uh, Ice and Cat suit up and get ready to run into cover on the Goulier Anar. Once on ship, Cats and Ice head down into engineering, weaseling their way past the supervisor and getting in place to sabotage the ship. Ice and Cats manage to set up the sleeper virus and dig further into the uh, ship systems, but opt to get out before they mess up. On their way out, 
ICE figures out that not only are there no droin represented at all on the ship's crew, but 60% of the ship's crew are actually Veilani. They post up in the ship's cafeteria and grab a burger and some intel while they wait for the shuttle out. So yeah, that's a uh, past couple gameplay sessions. The burgers, the burgers were fantastic. Space burgers, top notch. <laughs> And next time on this, Cyborg, <laughs> uh, you still there? Damn it! I turned my uh, little Mikey switchy thing off. Ah! All right. Ah, well, ah. I think that's going to pretty much uh, be it for this uh, Traveler Day. Uh, we've done all the fun things we gave away prizes we uh listened to awesome uh interviews with interesting people we met some cool uh other like-minded traveler people on discord and twitch and youtube we set our uh, personal streaming record uh we are now at nine hours and 43 minutes i've been at this this uh chair is hurting my butt um, so until next time, everyone, stay safe and happy traveling. Thank you to, uh, all my volunteers. Uh, thank you, crew. Thank you, Gomos. Thank you, cats. Thank you, Hexenhammer. Thank you, Monk. Thank you, uh, Ricard, wherever you are and, uh, everyone else, uh, who participated and made tonight a special traveler evening. Thank you all, everybody. And we'll see you around. Until next time, happy traveling, friends. Good night, everyone. Thanks, Fraz. Thanks. This was a great Thanks, time. Everyone. Thanks, everyone who showed up. Year, year two, it's just gotten better and bigger. <laughs> Thanks again, everybody. Cheers.